everyone welcome back to detangle let's do this question here we have a potentiometer experiment and a cell is connected and it is found that the current flowing is zero when the length is 52 centimeter and second case what they have done is they have taken a resistance of 5 ohm and shunted it across the cell so that time the balance point was found out to be 40 centimeter so balance point changed from 52 to 40 centimeter and they have asked us to figure out what is the internal resistance of the cell and options are given so let's see how to do it so here i have drawn two potentiometers so in the first case they have told that this is connected across a cell let's take the emf to be e1 and it has some internal resistance and i'll take it as small letter r it is passing through galvanometer and its balancing point according to first case is found out to be at 52 centimeter and for the second case they have told that the same setup that is this is connected to a cell of emf e1 and internal resistance r and it is passed across a galvanometer but this time they have connected a shunt resistor shunt means it is connected in parallel of resistance 5 ohm across the cell and that time the balancing point initially it was 52 centimeter but now the balancing point is found out to be at 40 centimeter so this length is 40 now so as you can see the length is reduced so let's see how to do it now if you are not comfortable with the basics of the potentiometer i've already made a video so i'll just put the link up here so you can go check it out first and then come back to this video so here uh, they have told that the emf of the cell is e so it is dropped across this length a b so i'll call this length as l then the potential gradient is going to be the total potential divided by the length so this a gives you the potential per unit length which means that if you take this point 52 centimeters so the potential across this point i'll call this as a c so the potential across this a c v a c is going to be potential per unit length that is phi times how much ever length you got that is uh, 52 centimeters so this is 52 centimeter so this is the potential across this ac now since they have told there is no current flow in this circuit the potential across this point ac has to be the potential across these two points and that has to be equal to the emf of the cell because there is no current flow in the circuit hence there won't be any drop across this resistor so if you consider this point and this point the total potential has to be equal to the emf of the cell so i can write this e1 is equal to this vac which is equal to 5 times 52 centimeter and also here since there is no current flow in the circuit that means this potential that is potential across this ac point has to be same as this potential then only there won't be any current flow because the potentials are equal and there is no potential difference hence there is no current flow now consider this case so in this case as you can see the distance is uh, the length is 40 centimeter so if i consider this point to be some uh, c dash so the potential across these two points that is going to be v a c dash is equal to the potential gradient potential per unit length times the length that is 40 centimeter so this is the voltage across these two points and that has to be the same voltage across these two points because since there is no current flow through this path then this potential and this potential has to be same because if they were different then there will be a current flow across this path which means i can tell the potential between these two points i'll call these two points as uh, x and y the potential between these two points that is v x y has to be equal to this one 5 times 40 and what is the potential difference between these two points isn't the potential difference between those two points even no so in this case the potential drop across these two points x y is not going to be equal to e1 this is because there is going to be a current flow in the circuit like this i let's take the current flowing in the circuit is i now if you think about it it's easy to understand why there is a current flow that is as you can see here between these two points there is a drop and that drop has to be same as the drop across this and since this is a resistor some current has to flow through the resistor then only you will get a drop so that is why the drop potential between these two points is same as potential between these these two are same points right they are in parallel 
So these two point and these two point have the same potential. So this V x y should be equal to the current flowing that is I times the resistance that is phi ohm. So this is the drop happening here. So if there is no current flow in the circuit, then there won't be a drop. So that would be wrong because there has to be a drop across this. These two points are having some voltage value of this one. So it has to have a voltage here. So that is why there should be a current flow and hence if there is a current flow what happens is here as you can see when the current is flowing like this there will be a drop across this resistor so the total potential across these two points V X Y is going to be equal to the EMF minus I times R where I R is the drop happening here. So whatever EMF is generated subtract the drop happens here that will be the potential difference between X Y. So that is the difference in this case and in this case. So here as you can see there is no current flow in the circuit. So that is why the potential difference between these two points x y is equal to the potential difference between these two points that is equal to E1. So here we didn't consider that drop because there is no drop because of no current is flowing. So now that you know about the equations it is just simplification left out. So here you have V x y is equal to E1 minus I R and uh, Vxy as you know it's the same potential as this one Vac dash that is phi into 40 is equal to E1 and E1 that is the EMF of the cell we have already got it from the first case that is equal to phi times 52 so I can substitute this here so this will be phi into 52 minus I I as you know we will get from this expression that is Vxy by phi and Vxy again is same as Vac dash that is phi into 40 by phi into the internal resistance r which you need to calculate. So here all the phi's will get cancelled and uh, this will be 8's r and then if you get it this that side and uh, this one so you will get r as this will be 12 by 8 and this is going to be 3 by 2 that is 1.5. So the correct option is 1.5.